Greetings, Vault Citizens. Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 Tips and Tricks Guide video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get infinite adhesive as well as boatloads of food and juice for your survival needs. If you guys um, don't know what adhesive is, it's for crafting weapons, repairing weapons, and you're going to run out of it and be in dire need of it as you can only find it from things such as glue or duct tape. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get it infinitely in Definitely. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alrighty guys, before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy these follow videos, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to have plenty more tips and tricks videos coming out. So smash that subscribe button and drop a like if you guys enjoy the tips in this video here today. So if you guys remember in Fallout 4, there was something called an adhesive farm. The same thing applies here in Fallout 76, but it's a little bit trickier to get going. And I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to get it going. So in order to craft adhesive, or vegetable starch, which can be scrapped into adhesive, you're going to need corn, mute fruit, and taters. This is not my farm. This is somewhere in the open world. So, Cobble, Cobbleton Farm, up here in the north. You can come here, and there's gonna be all these taters. And now the thing is, in order to plant something in your own settlement, you need the seeds. You need the wild picks. So one thing I do recommend, if we open up my perk chart here, get the green thumb. Uh, reap twice as much when harvesting flora. This will give you more seeds. It only works for certain ones. Like the mute fruit, it doesn't work. You can see it just as mute fruit added. But for the corn, you'll see two added. So you can get the corn twice as fast for sure. And now it means for every one that I pick, I'm going to be able to plant two corn in my base so you're going to get this stuff very fast so there's a lot of different variety which is still useful so you might as well grab it there's some blueberries kicking about here and different things like that so you just grab everything in this area but the main ones you want are going to be the corn the mute fruit and the taters so now you've picked them what do you do now well check this out we can simply go to the main menu, quit the game, quit the main menu, leaving world, hit play. It's going to find us a brand new game world to enter. So here we go. All right, we are back in game. Let me just check the map here real quick. My camp is still there. I had it blueprint on me last time, which really did suck. You want to try and find a spot for your camp that nobody builds at. So there's no chance that your camp ever gets blueprinted. So upon spawning back into the world, you'll still be in the same area. But there's going to be new enemies spawned in. Oh, look at launch codes. That's, that's fun. Okay, so it's usually the Liberators, Scorched, or Super Mutants. The Super Mutants are probably the toughest of them all. You're gonna have to clear out the house real quick. But it's it's a nice, decent a little bit of EXP. And there we go. Should be cleared out. Let's grab our loot real quick. So each time you log back in, you're gonna get a decent amount of EXP just for clearing out. There's usually not too much trouble. I think that's the hardest spawn that you can get. But look at here. Our taters are back. All the vegetables are back. Now, before you go running off going, okay, this guy's good enough for me. I got the information. I know I'm gonna go start my farm. Well, there's still more to know. So let's, let's keep going on here. In order to plant all these, you're gonna need fertilizer. So how do you get fertilizer? Well, fertilizer comes from rotten food, vegetables, meat. You need 10 rotted items, either uh, vegetables or meat, to craft one fertilizer. So right there, like, we can't, we can't go plant all these. We might have a sufficient amount of seeds, but we can't plant them. So you might want to log in and out, do this several, several times, and you're going to stockpile the amount of corn you have. Now this corn, all if you let all this corn rot, you're going to get five fertilizer. So if you keep doing this, you're going to have enough fertilizer to plant all this stuff. So you're going to have to do this until you have enough fertilizer or just, you know, stockpile on fertilizer, then do this, and then you can plant them all. So now I'm going to go to my base and show you guys how this works exactly. Exactly. So I put my base up in the top left corner, which I kind of regret. It was near water, but I also get random enemy spawns in this area, which isn't the best. So as I said, I get random enemy spawns. You can immediately hear some explosions going off. It's because of this. Um, I'm, I'm right next to this lumber mill, which does aggro. I always have one super mutie down here firing away at my base, which really annoys me. And I got to take him out before I can do anything. I think he might be gone today. 
I do hear something shooting. But we're going to carry on. Hopefully it doesn't bother us. But they are doing damage to my base. Now, my base isn't that great. But if you guys, like I said, if you guys enjoy these tips and tricks videos, I'm going to have more stuff coming out to how to create a base like this and blueprint it. I had a much bigger, grander base. However, you cannot fit it into the, the blueprint capacity. And it does cause issues when you're trying to uh, merge multiple blueprints together. So what you want to do is try to create a compact little house. But we'll save that for another day. I just want to show you guys here the farm. So it is a farm house. And the reason I built here was because it was already a farm with crops growing here. Wild crops. So every time I come to my base. See I've already picked this from logging out. But the wild crops have grown back in because I'm on a new server. So that does mean. See I got a bunch of corn there. Those were the wild corn that came with this farm. Same with these taters. These were not the ones grown by me. And again the bonus with that is these are going to give me seeds to plant new ones. Where if you planted the, the crops yourself. I hear something big on the way. That's kind of terrifying. If you planted these crops yourself, you can't just plant 10 moot fruit, harvest them, and then be able to plant 10 more. You won't get the seeds. They have to be wild. So that is why I picked this location, because I do get wild seeds growing, which just gives me a bonus harvest every once in a while as well as when i log in i'm guaranteed to have some new ones because it's a new server so i got all my mute fruits lined up my taters my corn it could be a little bit bigger i'm working on expanding it i just need that fertilizer so when you come back to your base and you've got rows and rows of corn rows and rows of mute fruit and taters you harvest it all then what do you do you come on up oh we got that guy firing at us hopefully we'll be okay so if we go to our cooking station you can see here we can craft vegetable starch it requires two corn two mute fruit one purified water and two taters as another side note, as a uh, tip and trick, do not ever drink purified water. Only drink boiled water. Sure, it gives you a little bit of rads, but that's not a big deal. Purified water is very important. We have a super mutant here. Super annoying. See, smashing on my generators. Oh, before I go back to the cookie station, you can get purified water from having water purifiers, obviously. These give you two every time. I, I think it's like an hour, two an hour. It doesn't stack higher than two from what I've noticed. So every time I come back here, I get about eight purified water. So that's a thing don't drink your don't drink your purified water drink your uh, boiled water pull it from the lake pull it from a pump and boil it right here boiled water easy easy peasy you'll drink that instead of the purified you're going to need purified water for things such as this so two corn two mute fruit two taters one purified water you make vegetable starch look how many i can create here with just the little harvest that i pulled in just now with the purified with the purifiers that i have on my camp as well as the crops that i just pulled in from uh showing you guys that little trick in the beginning from the farm so we come over to our chemistry station or any station really we can go look at our junk and we have vegetable starch nine of them we can scrap this let's just scrap one look at that two adhesive so we scrap all 16 adhesive we just got 18 adhesive to show you guys at a workbench such as a weapons workbench if i wanted to repair my power fist excess adhesive five five adhesive to repair my weapon see how and, and your weapons are breaking constantly two adhesive to repair my rifle so i'm never really worried about the screws and the other things the metal it's really it comes down to the adhesive and i can literally grow my adhesive right here on this quaint cozy little farm so it's very fun and uh you're never gonna have to worry about your repair troubles ever again if you use this trick and it's super quick and super easy to set up based off of the cobbleston or the cobbleton farm so you get to the cobble cobbleton farm harvest it log out harvest it log out and you're, again you're gonna need that fertilizer so as i can show you guys here i'm gonna go plant some new crops and i want to continue adding on see i'm a little bit low on corn in this farm so we want to add some more and i only have 15 fertilizer so i i let all the vegetables rot in my bag and i'll show you how to craft the fertilizer right after this and i can't plant very many and i've been waiting hours and hours and hours to plant more if the fertilizer decays really slow and there is a perk that makes it so food decays slower do not get that because you want your food to decay when you have a farm like this all these corn you can turn you can turn corn into corn soup you're gonna have an infinite amount of food so you don't need your to worry about your food decaying because you're gonna be able to craft so much food with a farm like this that it doesn't matter that it's decaying and when it decays you're getting fertilizer so there we go we added another dozen corn crops into the farm here and then we're going to run over to 
craft some fertilizer. So if we go to our chem station here, you'll see the raw fertilizer, fruit, and vegetables here. They require one spoiled veg or 10 spoiled vegetables or meat or fruit. They're all different. So you are you basically have to wait for all your stuff to spoil. So, you know, rather than grabbing my whole farm and turning it all into adhesive, well, it's going to be based off of how much water I have, how much purified water. So if I'm out of purified water, well, then I can't craft any more adhesive for now. So what you do instead is you harvest everything and just let it rot in your inventory. Then you take all that rotted food, you make yourself some fertilizer. Now you can plant more. Eventually you're going to get to a point where you have so much crops that you can harvest them all and you'll have so much fertilizer by the end of the day. It's going to it's going to be multiplicative. You know, this I get this three times bigger, four times bigger, five times bigger. I'm going to get my fertilizer and my adhesive that much faster. The bottleneck is your purified water. Now, there is a way to craft purified water. I'm going to have a tips and tricks for that in the future. So, you know, there you can get around it with a water filter. So be sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for that, you guys. Uh, I got some pretty good tips and tricks coming up after this as well. So stay tuned to the channel. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Fallout 76 tips and tricks, you guys. But I hope this adhesive farm is going to get you guys repairing your weapons, crafting your gear a lot quicker without struggling looking for duct tape in containers. This is much more efficient method. So there you guys go. If you want to see once more again i built my base up here if you do come up here and build it move it over to the right slightly so you don't aggro the lumber mill but it's a good spot because you have natural herbs here already and it's close by to the cobbleton farm which i can travel to for eight caps and i could continue getting more crops every time i log in so very good indeed and there are crops throughout this area up here so go check this area out for more and uh, there you guys go that's going to do it for this tips and tricks video i hope you guys enjoy it once again and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye now